Hi, Billy Dillard from Billy Dillard Art. Okay, so today we're doing a video on making these leaves for the vines inside the very house. So what I want to do first is show you what one of them looks like at this point. Then I'll go out and show you the tools uh, and we'll carve one out real quick. Uh, this here is my pattern. So first I drew my pattern because I, I want to get an idea of the size I need to make, how it's going to look. I got three different sizes that I'm making and here's one that I've power carved and then I did some wood burning on. I'll come back and add some color to it after I get them all carved and ready to go. Now, the idea is it's a leaf and it kind of looks like a heart but I actually seen these leaves over in front of a, a store and I really liked them. So I took a picture of them and I'm going wow. I bet most people wouldn't believe a leaf actually exists that looks like that. So, so. Let's take you over where the table is and show you the, the blanks and start carving one. Okay, so here's the blanks that I got cut out. And I just used a jigsaw. And this is cedar. It's almost an inch thick. Uh, three quarter inch would work just as easy. Matter of fact, it would have been easier because I carved quite a way as you'll see in a minute. So there's my blanks, different sizes. And now, as far as tools, make sure you got your hearing protection. I got my dust mask. Here's my Makita grinder um, with a King Arthur Lancelot disc on it. There again, I warn people when they're using this, this thing can be extremely dangerous and can seriously hurt you if you don't really pay attention to what you're doing. If it kicks back on you, uh, you can get yourself in a lot of trouble with it. And that's one of the reasons I like this paddle switch. Because if my hand comes off of it, it's, it'll slow down. I mean, it's still turning, but it'll slow down. Compared to the one where you just turn the switch on and it's running all the time, I prefer this one much more. That's just my own personal preference. And this here is a welder's clamp. And I, I use that because it doesn't have a really wide pad here. So when I clamp the material down to my work table there I can get around it pretty good so that's what I use um, make sure you got the safety glasses okay let's clamp one in there and get to carving okay now as far as clamping it I need to clamp it where it's gonna stay in place but I don't want to clamp it so hard I'm really putting a big dent this cedar is pretty soft so I need it to hold itself firm it'll put a little indent I mean you could put a little <clears throat> shim underneath your clamp here and that way you won't get a dent in it but i don't worry about that because after i would burn it you you're not even going to notice it Yeah. Uh -huh. 
you'll, you'll notice before I set that down, I usually let it stop first instead of just flopping it down because uh, if that disc caught on something, it'd just start jumping all around. So I don't want that to happen. And then I, when I do set it down, I set it down upside down. That way I don't have to worry about this paddle switching it back on. Okay, so, and you can see basically once you do a few of these, um, shape them, you'll start getting it figured out as far as what you shape them. But I just try to make sure I, when I'm carving, I carve everything in the round. And I just gradually take it down until I get what I want. Now right here, this little line here, I can turn it around and knock that little bit of edge off if I want to. But when I'm wood burning that, I can take care of that then if I want. Just depends on how particular you wish to be. But just to show you that real quick, I'll go ahead and turn it around and knock this edge down just a little bit. key thing there is you got to hold it and just barely let it touch I mean real lightly and that way you can kind of skim it because if you just set it on there it'll just start chewing away so it just takes a really light touch okay now the back side this is kind of fun there again this is one of those deals where you got to be really careful because I'm gonna be scalloping this out and then I'm just guessing when I'm scalloping as far as how much I can scallop and then I, I have to be really careful when I get close to the edge, otherwise I'll just take the edges off, and I don't want to do that. I'm doing this I'm really paying attention to where this blade is because if you if I was to catch that clamp I got I got myself a problem because it's gonna catch this thing's gonna jump out of my hand and who knows where it's going why it's still running before it slows down so I have to really pay attention to where this is at all times I have to pay attention to where this cord is at all times and I have to pay attention to my clothes like my sleeves and stuff person would be much better to have their sleeves buttoned up instead of rolled up because anything this thing can catch in it it'll just it'll instantly just wrap it up and it could get you trouble so anyway be I suggest anybody uses one of these to be very very careful I mean if if they're not gonna be really careful I would suggest don't use it use use a different tool I like it because it gets the job done quick but I'm always real cautious of it. All right, so that's uh, roughing it out with the uh, Makita grinder with a King Arthur Lancelot disc. And now from here, I'd take it with my wood burner. That'd be a different video. Um, and just sketch my design on there and do the wood burning. So, hope you learned something from this here. Um, and take time to check it out on my website where this is actually being installed. And you can see a lot more stuff that's going on with the, the build of this ferry house. Subscribe, and if you have any comments or questions or something I can help you with, let me know. All right, thanks a lot. Later.